So during the iterations, it's good to monitor uh, an additional quantity, particularly something like the dry coefficient, uh, in addition to the default residuals. And so this video will show you how to monitor the drag coefficient as the iterations are proceeding. And Fluent calculates the drag coefficient as the drag over, you know, whatever normalization. So I have to give it the reference value for the density, velocity, and the area. So first let me set up the drag monitor. So I go here and I highlight monitors um, under solution and I say create a drag monitor and I can call it whatever I like and it will do this integration over the wall zones so that essentially is doing that integration over that wall zone and I'll say print to console uh, along with other residuals make a plot of it and it will create a separate plot of how the drag coefficient is changing and then I need to tell it the direction. So this is where, you know, if I um, go back here, I'm telling it the direction in which I, I want the drag is acting. So that's the axial direction. And I say, OK. So it's added the drag monitor. And then I also need to make sure that the reference values are set correctly. So. This it'll calculate from the flow solution. This it'll pull out from the reference values panel. So I go to reference values and enter the right value of the area that I need from the non-dimensionalization uh, of the drag, um, the right value of the density, and the right value of the velocity. And then when I, uh, if I initialize my solution and I run my calculation I'll see that in addition to the residuals it also shows me the dry coefficient um, so that's the last entity is the dry coefficient um, okay and so it you can either look at the residuals or you can look at the at the drag coefficient history and really you should plot this on a log scale and that you can do by uh, coming over here and saying edit and you can play with the with the axes and so on